Check out this super awesome card that my wife made me for Father's Day. Isn't that cute? That's my daughter's uh, footprint. Hey guys, I realize I haven't really shown you guys around uh, my house or my studio or anything like that. So I'm going to kind of give you guys a idea of what I do and what my stuff looks like. All right. So I'm here home from doing estimates uh, today. Well, I got to go do another estimate here in about an hour. But yeah, this is just um, kind of where I got my computer. This is my just my Google Chromebook, and then I got my main computer back there that I use for editing videos and things like that. But man, would you look at all these uh, voicemails that I got to get to? Man, if there's anyone in the Sacramento area that wants some work, uh, definitely need to contact me because I got some. I got some work, man. I get like I probably get like 10 to 15 calls per day um, from Yelp. I get about 10 to 15 calls per day from Yelp or my website. Um, if you don't have a good marketing professional, I would highly recommend you get one. Um, game changer. I got a super great one that uh, has really done some great stuff for SEO optimizing um, for my website and everything I got online. So uh, that really brings me in a whole bunch of uh, clientele. Let me show you guys a little bit about how. So this may not look like much. This is my garage right now. It's kind of a mess because I just had a kid, so I got a whole bunch of stuff that people have given us. So this is my garage, this is our freezer, but this is where I do all my filming. So um, I don't know if, if that background looks familiar, but uh, there's my stand and then I got a light. Let me show you guys this light. Let me, let me plug this light in for you. So this light is pretty cool. It came just out of a client's house. They had this hanging up actually in a bedroom, just a fluorescent light that I wired up. Um, wired up a plug to and just put that on one of my ladders and use that to light my area <laughs> so there's really not much to it but uh, but yeah that's what I got going on here so if this looks familiar this is where I do all my videoing and let me show you guys a little bit about what I used to do this is my toolbox for when I used to be an auto mechanic um, let me show you guys a little bit of something about uh, buying tools see this is this is an example why I only buy tools on jobs that I actually do. Uh, when I worked as an auto mechanic, you have to have all kinds of tools, even if you very rarely do the jobs that require them, because if, if you get an RO where there's a job that needs a specialized tool and you don't have it, you are gonna be completely screwed, um, either having to buy it or you know borrow it from another guy. So I have so many automotive tools, filled up this whole Harbor Freight toolbox with uh, tools like this, that now just sit here. I'm trying to work on selling them. I uh, wish those were filled with kind of construction stuff. And then on this top one here, this is a junk drawer, so be ready. <laughs> Looks pretty horrible. Um, so I, I definitely need to get this organized and get some of those things sold. And there's another cabinet I got from a client's house. They wanted this, or they actually took this uh, cabinet down and uh, they had me do something else in the area where it was and they were getting rid of it so I took it from them. Um, also, this light fixture here is from a customer's house and uh, they um, just gave it to me and I put a little light switch in there. Totally not up to code, but it works. Those lights as well from a client. That light from a client. So as you see, my area is kind of made up of mismatched stuff of uh, just stuff that I get from clients. Um, don't really uh, care to spend money if, if I can get stuff for free, so works out pretty good. So this is kind of just my little area, not much to it right now, um, as you know, we kind of have a lot of uh, baby stuff, so we're working on that, getting that organized. There's a lot of stuff we don't need that people gave us, um, so we're kind of in the middle of trying to sort all that out and figure out what to do with that. I do want to highlight one tool that I got here, um, this rigid shop vac here. Um, this, my friends got this for me uh, actually two years ago around my birthday and it was on sale for like 35 bucks. Yeah, this thing was on sale for like 35 bucks and it's such a killer. I mean, I, th this is probably the best shop vac that you could ever have. Uh, I used to bring this on jobs with me, but it's just too big. So if you have seen my other videos, I've replaced it with uh, cordless Milwaukee M18 vacuum, but this is definitely great for having around the shop. Um, and last time I was at Home Depot, they actually had this on sale again. I don't think it was uh, as cheap as what I got it for. I think it was on sale for like, I don't know, like 40, 45 bucks. Actually, I didn't get it. My friends got it for me because it was so cheap. They got it for me for my birthday. So 
Um, that's just one thing I really want to highlight. You check out Home Depot because they had that on sale last time I was in the area. There's a trend going on right now on Facebook um, on the mastermind group about um, about tools and if you should go into debt to buy tools and if you buy tools on credit. Um, and everyone, you know, the everyone says about the same thing is you never want to go into debt, especially for buying tools. Um, and just like you saw out there with all my automotive tools, you only want to buy tools that you're actually going to be using. You only want to buy tools that that you actually would buy to do on to use jo on jobs that you actually enjoy doing or you do a lot. Um, if you are only doing a job that maybe it's a big job that requires a specialized tool and you're only doing it once, um, it's probably more profitable just to rent that tool rather than owning it. Um, but if, if there's going to be a tool uh, that will make you some money that you can, can that you can add to your rep tour and um, continue doing jobs with that tool, then I would highly recommend you buy that tool only when you need it though. So you don't want to go into debt for buying tools, but you want to definitely not be afraid to invest in tools when you need them. Um, and you know, some guys in the Facebook group, they've said that uh, when they estimate a job, they include a budget for that tool that they are going to need for that job. Uh, maybe if you're going to, if you're going to be doing five of those particular jobs that week, you're going to want to split it up throughout each job, but definitely do that. I mean, that's a very wise business practice to do things like that. Um, so that was just something that we're talking right now on Facebook. So I would highly recommend that you guys would do that. Don't, don't go into debt for your business. Um, you know, have the money on hand and ready to buy whenever you need it. That will definitely help and, and save things down the road. Hey, I wanted to show you guys something before I head out. This is a little uh, magazine article that we had when uh, my wife and I had our farm. Uh, you guys saw the freezer out there is Agape Farm and the Farm of Faith, Hope and Love. And we were in the newspaper one time and actually this company they said hey do you want your um, magazine article or your your news article framed and we we weren't really that interested in it but they ended up sending it to us anyways and they said well uh, you you know either pay us like 200 bucks or you got to send it back and I'm like what well, I'm not paying you 200 bucks for that so anyways we ended up talking them down to like 15 bucks so we got to keep this thing for 15 bucks we didn't even want it but they sent it to us it's probably some marketing scheme but um, but it's pretty cool to have. I mean, it's like, yeah, like that's me. That's my wife. There's our chickens. Pretty sweet. Well, I got to get heading out to, uh, my next inspection job here, but, um, thank you all so much for tuning in and check out my live video, which is happening tonight, um, on YouTube here at uh, 6 PM Pacific standard time. Love for you guys to join in. We're going to be talking about starting handyman business and, you know, questions that people have concerns that people have. And things like that and anything that comes up if you guys got any questions at all please uh, join me on that live I would love to chat with you and I will see you guys tonight at 6 p.m.